<laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm so excited because, again, I got another gentleman that has come on to the show. So before we get started, the first thing I would love for you guys to do is please subscribe to the show if you didn't have a chance to. Hit the notification bell to let you know when I'm going to be on here next, like it or not, and then make sure you share this video. So let's get into it. I got KJ over here. He is an inspiring singer. We're going to talk about his new song, what motivated him to even get into the whole singing in the first place. KJ, what's happening? Hey, what's happening? How you doing? It's good to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for coming on my show. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 KJ, oh my goodness. So I played your song on 106tbcradio.com. Um, mm -hmm. Is this the first time that you're ever, you know, playing music or? Um, actually not. I've been doing music for about seven years now prior. Um, it was, it's a struggle, you know, because I'm continuing on my journey. And it's just that it also motivated me to, you know, mold the person that I am. You know, as far as that's like my um, the image that I'm trying to portray, my uh, uniqueness, my um, the individuality that I'm, I'm I'm heading towards, and you know, it's a challenge though because not many people like myself go after for what they believe in, unless you have God with you, and mm -hmm. for you to um, have like the compassion and the drive to do it. So yeah. Oh, amazing! Amazing. So you said you've been doing it for quite a bit now. So what um, what motivated you to even start this in the first place? Who was your motivation behind it? Well, actually, my mother was my, my motive. Well, my mother, she was like the motivation, the backbone, because she actually encouraged me, not only me, but my other siblings to follow our dreams and stuff like that but you know at the first in the beginning stages I didn't know, know what I was gonna do as far as it's like career-wise because you know I just got out of high school and so at that time period and just trying to like figure out what I was just gonna do so I asked actually I asked her for a guitar for Christmas because that was kind of like something unique or different than, you know, than my sisters got. They wanted a computer. I wanted a guitar because I wanted to teach myself because first I saw Justin Bieber have a guitar when he was um, transitioning and coming up and to become his artist. So that allowed me to, you know, get a guitar as well. And since I already knew how to sing, I just said, okay, you know what? I, I can sing. Let me learn how to play the guitar. So I, I picked it up off off of YouTube, self talk and that led me to like, you know, do like few cover songs from like Justin Bieber to Justin Timberlake, um, my song by Chris Brown in the early stages. And then after that, that transitioned me to like writing my own stuff, um, creating my own vibe. Cause really to be honest today, I still don't know what my genre is and people always ask me that. And mm -hmm. so I go with a nice, good, smooth flow. And from that on, I started to, um, you know, I started at the steps of City Hall because that's where my, you know, my musical draft um, took off at that at that period of time. Then it started to like, you know, build from the ground up, started to perform at local local venues, um, open mics, um, started to do, like, um, you know, like pre-shows throughout uh, Chicagoland and and um and northwest indiana so i did that landed a few articles posts tv interviews posts links and you know that also transitioned to me to start like you know recording and the process had a few bumps in the road and stuff and then now just started to lead me to like actually work with the right people to actually 
branch me off and merge me into like a breakout artist in the beginning making. So yeah. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Now you know I gotta ask you this because you said you know when you got out of high school your mom gave you a, a guitar. So how old are you? Um, I'll be twenty eight. You know, so at that time I was turning nineteen at at okay. that time because I graduated from high school in two thousand twelve, and I didn't wait till like the year later um, mm -hmm. when I got a guitar because that's when I was like transitioning and starting off trying to find myself. You know, so I actually was nineteen at the time when I first started, and now I'm twenty eight. So it's like I, I've been on a seven year, almost seven and a half year plus journey. Me like transitioning, kind of my voice, just continue on the um mm -hmm. on, of music and meeting certain people along the way, and then you know had a few like I said, few bumps in the road, you know, with certain people. Though some people didn't take me as seriously as I am now. Some people took my career as a joke because they thought it was just okay. He just he doing it for show, or is he doing it to like make a career? out of it. I wanted to make a career to showcase my talent. Not only that, but also have have um have a disability to transition that okay, if I have this like this um emotional um emotional mental, you know, stable dead disability, I could show you what, you know, if I can make it, anybody else that has the same type of condition or disability that I have for anybody else around the world, they can also make their dreams come true as well in the process. Okay. Um, and you know, that is amazing. And you know something? That is the very question that I like to ask a lot of people. I like mm -hmm. to ask them, I said, how, you know, how, what advice can you give somebody who's trying to do the things that you're trying to do? And you said it with a disability you know, and everything. Could you kind of elaborate a little bit on your disability, if you don't mind? Yeah, um, I have an emotional disability. It's more like, you know, okay, when I was born prematurely, you know, I suffered a seizure, stroke, and respiratory failure when I was a premature baby. When, as my mom told me, I was five and a half months old. You know, one side of my mental brain is just not, it's not completely functionable and then the other side is just like you know it's it's like it works so it's like in between like it's working and it's not working so sometimes I have like emotional problem where you know I tend it's like my mental stability is more like a it's like it's immature it's still like developing as okay I know I'm older as a, a grown man but my mentality wise is more like a chill it's, it's, it's like a child so, you know, I can't, you know, some things I can't really um, comprehend on a on an adult level. I comprehend more on a t on, on a child's level. Like I say, probably like an age of probably, I say like a teen's level, more like the age, like a 13, 14 year old level, you know. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to say that you're amazing. And I really admire you. And I admire everything that you have accomplished so far. And I want everybody to listen to your music. And this song, actually, his music is actually playing on 106tbcradio.com. It's in rotation. But I want you guys to get a taste of his song. So before I play it, the song that I played, could you tell us a little bit about it? You seemed like you was at some kind of event or something. Yeah, um, you said 106.3, you said? 106, it's uh, TBC, TBC Radio, 106tbcradio.com. And um, what I'll, I'll definitely put the links, you know, to attach it to the video and stuff like that so people can hear it. And when we go ahead and we'll play it again, I'll definitely let you know so you can go ahead and tell like, your friends and family. <laughs> well, that one, I was at an event and I was performing uh, a tribute song to my mother, which I'm currently um gonna be releasing sooner or later. Gotta tell y'all the date sooner or later. But I was um, it's it's a, a tribute song made towards my mother called Mother Now. It's 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 a, a song about her expressing you know, my love for her, what she did, and the things that she had to do as far as to take care of me and my other siblings at that period of time. And it's just more of an emotional story song where people can vibe to, can hear and listen. 
and just get the story on, you know, some people don't have a mom anymore. And most people do, or they just don't talk to their mother. And, you know, it, it could go like vice versa. You know, it's just a song to know that it's a remembrance of the things that you would have done or should do with your, your mom because she's the one that gave you life. Oh, I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and play this song and we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to write the, the lyrics and, you know, get the music together? Um, it took me a for like a couple of days to write it. But, you know, by me doing it, you know, that was actually an event that was recently I did um, on Mother's Day. You know, oh, so I actually... I was at a, 
I was at an event in Illinois. I was supposed to leave, you know, sing, you know, perform at an appropriate time center, but I ended up closing out the event um, during that performance. And, you know, it was amazing, you know, so it took me a while. I wrote that probably like, what, like seven years back ago, but still <laughs> trying to it and, you know, make it more, you know, because it's, it's, a, it's a good, powerful song that people can relate to. And my mama already thinks that it's going to be gold, uh, you know, or platinum or whatever she made the case may be. But, well, well, tell but your mama I love it. Tell your mama yeah. I love it. And it is playing on 106tbcradio.com. So, PJ, then, what is, what's the future for you? What, what, what's next for you? Cool. What's next? I'm currently working on my EP album. I'm going to be working with um with some people out of Chicago called um underground hitters they're they're uh, they're a popular radio station and they're going to um merge me as as a as a new beginning artist and my first single will be my mother and that song and we're gonna actually get the process going as far as this, um created you know probably put together some good songs trying to find my voice more and mm -hmm put together an EP and hopefully the world uh, everybody else would would see it and probably you know buy my EP once it's officially out sooner or later you know I keep up with the details you know shouts out to underground hitters in, in Chicago because they're the ones who's gonna make my dream you know come true so yeah oh I love it I love it I love it so mm -hmm. if people were to look you up how can they find you they could find me on Instagram, the real KJ23, because that's why I mainly be. They could go to my Facebook, Kerry James Jr. That's my main page, but my fan page is Kerry James. Um, you know, I, sometimes I do. Sometimes I. They could find me on Twitter. It's the real KJ1993. I hardly use Twitter, but mainly Instagram, the real KJ23, because that's what I mainly be on. And hopefully, you know, once my song or song gets out. Officially, that I would have links and stuff where people could actually purchase and buy and just hopefully make it, you know, a good song, hit song for people to enjoy and listen to. So, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, KJ, you are amazing. I love your music. I will be following you. I am yeah. cordially inviting you to come back. Once you get your song out there, come back and let us know how you're doing because I'm sure oh, my no, audience. No. Yeah, and hopefully, no, I'll be hopefully doing some acting because before the music, I, I did acting and drama, drama, which I actually did a a, a documentary film probably like a, uh, a couple years ago, where I performed and play um uh, a character who invented another who invented the railroads and planes. Name is the name. Ooh, the name is, nice. And he, and he was a Chicagoan. And, you know, I played a character who worked alongside the only black African American, you know, character who worked alongside him along with some other adventures. They thought it was the Wright brothers that invented the planes, but it was actually Dave Octave Chinook that created the planes and railroads and stuff like that. He was from Chicago as well. You know, oh, so I also, it's like a, a docu, it's like a commentary, mm -hmm. documentary entry that that appeared on PBS, you know, like they do like historic and you know inventions. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. And hopefully I'll be able to, you know, work on my own shoes, you know, because before then, before the music and the acting, I also used to like try to, you know, I want to create my own shoe line in the process in the beginning, still work mm -hmm. on the business music, you know, like get my uh, my own ventures going so sooner or later so yeah but first i'm oh, just gonna get on the music part wow you know wait a minute wait we we closing up to is there anything else you want to tell me because i when i when i'm like oh wow this guy is amazing and then you're like oh i'm doing my shoes i was acting <laughs> you're doing some amazing stuff yeah it's in the process it's it's tough though but you know what god only you know, he leads me into a new direction beginning. You know, I pray, I read the Bible, you know, a lot, a lot more. I'm much clear headed. I'm at, I'm at peace. I pray every day to, 
you know, you know, hope things get better with not just me, but my for my family and the career I'm trying to lead on and it is going to get better. And, you know, so I just, you know, I have that, I have those, you know, good intentions on, I know that I'm going to do good. I just have to make sure I know I have to do good. And the people alongside with me is going to help me succeed that venture and make my dream come true. And just hopefully, you know, I get, you know, the proper guidance and, you know, stable, you know, stability along with that for me to you know become a better individual a businessman an artist an actor in the making and just you know have fun with it you know oh i love it i love it and you know what guys people who are looking at this i want you guys to follow him i want you to yeah. support him because he's yeah. out there he's doing some stuff and i'm very proud of you yeah. you know you did you did, you did, you did, you did kind of oh, oh go ahead yeah, and the song is called the song is called Mother and I, you know, so so that's the song it's called. It's a tribute song. Oh. Okay, cool. Now you did you kind of answered this before and I was gonna go ahead with that, but I'm gonna yeah. kind of ask you this again anyway. What yeah. advice can you give somebody who who you feel that is, you know, you know, they have a disability, but they feel like, you know, they can't do it, but you're out there doing it. What advice yeah. can you give my good advice, best advice that I could give anybody that's trying to pursue their career, whether it's singing, dancing, acting, or whatever career choice that they're trying to get, I just say sky's the limit, stay consistent, you know, have supportive people around your circle that could keep, you know, you grounded and motivate you as much. And, you know, stay connected with God because God is everything and pray more. Pray that your life will get much better because it's not going to get better. It's going to, God will also, he rolls the dice. And sometimes mm -hmm. he He gives you challenges that you try to overcome, but sometimes you have to let God know that I got my own dice and I'm going to roll it the way I'm going to roll it. And, you know, just have that support system. You know, you just have to have people that should just keep you grounded and just say, you know what, I can do this, you know, I want to be just like this person to encourage me to continue on the drive and the success that I'm going to build up as far as as being an individual and just, you know, leave the mark on the world and embracing your destiny. Wow. You're amazing. You're amazing. I, much blessings. Much blessings to you. To you too. All the way from Gary, Indiana. <laughs> yes. Yes. And tell your mama she is doing an awesome job with her. Blessings to her. And she's amazing as well. Listen, guys, we're going to come off of here. But before we go, like I said before, I want you guys to follow this gentleman right here. We're going to put all his information as much as we can at the bottom of this video. Um, and then also to you guys who follow me, I'm on social media, D.D. Walker live show. And of course, the D.D. Walker fan page, which you can follow as well. Make sure you subscribe. And if you have, just go ahead, check again, subscribe again. And then hit that notification bell. Please share this video. We need to get it out. Share this video and tag your friends in it and yeah. like, like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything I do, you know, my mom, she encourages me to do you know, better. And if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be the KJ I am today. She actually molded me into the, you know, um, upcoming superstar that I'm going to become. So shouts out to her. Yeah. Shouts out to your mama. Shouts out to your mama. Well, thank you again for coming on the show. All right. Many blessings to you and I will be following you and you are welcome back anytime. Okay. Thank you. You'll be the first when my song comes out officially, you will be the first to know. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, you have a beautiful day. Thank you. You too, Miss Didi. <laughs>